We're excited that they have been able to get somewhere and we have a place to start now. So we're excited to see what the news is once we get there. Bargainers for General Motors and the United Auto Workers have reached a tentative contract deal that could end a month-long strike. It's the first step in sending nearly 50,000 hourly employees back to work. Terms of the tentative four-year contract were not released, but it's likely to include some pay raises, lump sum payments to workers, and will require that GM build new vehicles in U.S. factories. We have team coverage on this new development. We start with Wayne 15's Britt Soleil. She joins us live from the Fort Wayne Truck Assembly Plant with reaction from the union. Britt. Angelica, today bargainers from General Motors and the UAW reached a tentative contract agreement that would send strikers across the country back to work. Although even if the first committee votes it through today, workers likely won't be back in the plants for a couple more days. Right now, the union's International Executive Board is in Detroit voting on the issue, and then union leaders from the factories will travel to Detroit on Thursday for their vote on the contract. It's not clear right now what exactly is in the offer, but throughout this process, the union has stressed their want for more products to be brought to factories in the states, as well as for pay raises. Tomorrow is the earliest workers could be back to work, although local union leaders say that Fort Wayne strikers are prepared to stay out as long as they need should there be delays or if the deal falls through. Our people right now are, are seriously still strong. Um, well, they're ready to stay back out there if they don't get the things that we went to the table to get. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they're serious about it, and they don't really don't want to go back in the plant until we get a tentative agreement that's approved by the entire membership. The way the GM negotiations have played out are significant because they will set the tone for the union's upcoming contract negotiations with Fiat Chrysler and for Ford. Although, as of right now, it's unclear which of those two companies will meet the union at the table next. Live from the Fort Wayne Truck Assembly, Britzelay, Wayne 15 News.